FOC crew, it's your girl LaToya. And as always, Chris. And we are back with another video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do what? Like, comment, subscribe, hit those post notifications. Okay, so tell them what we are doing today. So today we have some stockings, as you can see. Um, so we're gonna decorate these stockings. We have some glitter pins, and uh, we'll decorate stockings, <laughs> and we'll see whose turns out better. Mine. You've been saying that, but you haven't won anything. What do you mean I haven't won anything? People said my cookies were better. Don't even I did not see anything about your cookies. Your mom said my cookies were better. Your gingerbread house was better, but other than that. No, you full of shit. <laughs> and just, she's just salty. No. She's just salty. No. He picked the best looking cookies and then left, I if you wanted them. And left me the ones that look, well, what am I supposed to say? You'd be like, I want to use that one. Okay, I'll pick another one. No, if you tried to pick it first, who am I to stop you from? And you act like we really had a lot of decorations. My cookies look like damn, I don't even know. They look like Professor Clump cookies. Professor Clump cookies? What does that even mean? So we're gonna get started with this decoration. We won't be long. So this morning we thought we'd do like a, well I thought we'd do- This is a quick video. A quick video and a morning rant. Do any of you guys have neighbors that just be obnoxious? Cause that's what we're doing right now. We got these neighbors. I mean, you live and you learn. Like we have these neighbors that live to the left of us that are just like, me, I understand that you buy a home and you buy the home to enjoy the home and you want to have people over, you want to host, you want to facilitate things. But I feel like you also need to be mindful of the you fact that- You your neighbors. If you live in a subdivision and you guys literally almost live on top of each other, which Lord willing, speaking it to existence, we, we have actively, well not actively, we, we, you know, we've been looking, but we have not been like, looking for a new house. Maybe we need to start looking, looking. But we may need to start looking, looking because like, it's getting out of control. And it's like these people, me and him debated about this earlier. These people are older than us, which I'm not trying to say age should be a factor. Like you should be able to, but I'm like, these people sound like they was having a damn like keg party. Screaming and all this stuff. And it didn't just go on for one hour. Like This literally went on until, for me, after almost 4.30. And I'm just like, you know, you, uh, look, I'm all for having people over, having a good time, but you also have to remember that you have neighbors. And him, he's non-confrontational. Like, when it comes to stuff like that. Am I just talking? No, I mean, I mean you're right. I mean, I'm not really a confrontational person, so it's kind of like, so she'd be holding back for me. Look, if, I was, if it was up to me, I would have called the cops last night. And he's like, what are the cops going to do? Tell them to shut up? Like, I literally wanted to open up my door, my back door, because they were outside and inside. Outside at one point and inside. And I literally wanted to open up the door and be like, shut the F up. But, you know. Like I said, my husband be trying to be the peacemaker, so I don't be acting crazy. And he claims that I'm non-confrontational because I don't argue with him. I don't believe in arguing. What are we doing that for? Am I getting paid to argue? You getting paid to confront people? Yeah. When you're messing with my peace and my enjoyment of my own house and my dogs don't like it, yeah, we have a problem. No, we may agree to disagree. Cause you may not think it's a problem. Nigga, why are you writing out Merry Christmas? Merry, don't most people put their name on the stocking? Who said I still can't put my name? Where? What do you mean where? Where? You didn't use the ball the red. Well, there's still plenty in there. You just gotta shake it. Barely. Christopher. I barely wrote like three, four letters. That's all the letters you need. Using up all the glitter. Y'all, see this is what I be dealing with y'all. I use He be thinking he the only one over here decorating. He be trying to sabotage Team LT. I'm not petty. Now in this circumstance, 
with the neighbors. I actually, want, if I've told him just a minute ago, I was like, if I was really being myself, I would tell you to go outside and mow at seven o'clock in the morning, because they didn't stop till about five, and go right on the side of this house, in between the houses, so they can hear. <laughs> and every time they do this, because they do it at least once a month, we're going to mow the very next day. Till they get ready to put two and two together, that we mow every time they have a party. And they start being quieter, but actually I want to try to get our HOA covenants changed. He doesn't think that. He doesn't know if we can, but I'm, I'm very... At least if we bring it to a vote, because we got people over here... Like me, I have a dog. I mean, have a dog. I have five dogs. But we have people over here who have dogs that are like bark all night nobody comes and stops them or whatever and i'm not trying to say like your dog can't be a dog but i'm like if your dog is barking and keeping up all this ruckus you definitely need to come get them under control like i'm not gonna let my dogs bark all night long can you look at my stock you little cheater i'm done with my i can look at yours now i'm done no You be trying to look at what I'm doing so you can get ideas on what you My turn you done. How am I copying you? Because I know you. No. So I worked there like two last night and when I get home, they were, they were still going at it. I'm like, I was so tired. I just went to sleep. I mean, I couldn't, I mean, I heard them, but I was just so tired. I was like, I just tuned it. I kind of went to sleep. But somebody could. Me, I'm a light sleeper. So yeah, we're not going to do all that. Like, I can't sleep through stuff like that. Like, him, he can literally sleep through anything. Somebody could be breaking in the house. I should have wrote on this line. Like, breaking in the house? I don't know about all that. Not I and R kind of ran together. There's, I don't, there's not as much stuff in here as you, as you would think. Paint. Yeah, because you just squeezed it all out on your merry... Christmas Chris in the upper left hand part. I told you I was gonna put my name on it. They don't know who that is. I just said my name in the video, so you know who I am. No. And it irritates him because he's like, you be willing to argue with the neighbors before you argue. I'm not gonna argue with nobody and what I'm finna do is call the police. <laughs> At least so we can get a noise complaint on record because I'm not gonna live like this. He come in the house when I told him everything that's going on last night or this morning when he comes in the house. They look like they just left. The hell they did. Well, that's what it looked like when I got home because there was somebody was walking out the front of the house. No, they didn't help the cause. Whoever left. I don't know how well this stuff's gonna stick once it dries. We'll see. Really? The other thing we were gonna talk about just in brief is what you guys' thoughts are on the I know it's a sensitive subject getting the COVID vaccination like for me I'm not opposed to getting it but I also feel like we don't know enough about it and I know people are like well they've gone they've gone through the, like the clinical trials and all that stuff which I understand they follow normal protocol, but I just, we just don't know the long-term effects. And that's my biggest thing. Like, it's like, that's like me, them saying, oh, we, we created this new cigarette and we know that it does the same thing that a regular cigarette it does, but we just don't know what the long-term effects of you, you decide to smoke it. Like, I'm not gonna do it. That's just me. I mean, yeah. He may be willing to take it. Not right now, I'm like a couple of years once we know more about it, yeah. But I'm not a frontline worker either, so. Yeah, but you don't know if your employer is gonna require you to get it. I mean, this is true. Like, what do you, how do you guys feel about employers trying to make you get the vaccination? I feel like if you work in like a hospital and you're exposed to people who are like in that at-risk population, I, I get it. I'm here for it, but I mean, like, and then the, this is the other part. Like, I think people have unrealistic expectations on how this is going to work. Like, some people think because Pfizer released a vaccination, like, everybody's going to get it tomorrow, and that's just not. It'll probably take 
It'll probably be summertime before enough people get vaccinated to make a difference. See, he's been watching what I'm doing now. All of a sudden, he's starting to fill his in again because he he like to be he like to cheat. Like to cheat? You should be done. You said you were done. Stop at stop adding to your stocking. I am done. Yeah, I'm already right, done. Just cheating for no reason. He see me doing something. He that's what he's been waiting for. He's like, ooh, let me see what she does so I can try to. No. Yeah, he be waiting, y'all. <sighs> So is some more belly, sorry. Hopefully I got enough to make this last little thing I wanna make on here. He's trying to be nosy, y'all. I'm sitting here waiting on you. Being With nosy. Moving slow. Profession takes time, is that what it is? I got a multicolored snowman. Why are you be telling what I be doing? Yeah, we needed to get two packs of these glitter pens because they tripping. Yeah, there's barely anything in here. Like you squirt out like, and there's like barely anything left. Oh, and then the other thing that I didn't say, like a lot of people don't, I would recommend like if you're thinking about getting it, you do the research. You don't have a, a choice at this stage. Like if you fit one of the at risk population or you're working in the medical field or you know, some people were mad that Congress members got shots, but you know, it's a part of a uh, contingency plan when they were under, because we're actually in a- it Makes sense for them to get it. A uh, government, like an emergency. Transition? No, an oh. emergency. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. What is it called? I can't, it's not, it's there, but you know, I didn't, I didn't sleep much last night for obvious reasons. A state of emergency, that's what I'm gonna say. Really? Yeah, so if you're, we're under, being that we're under a state of emergency, um, they get it because it's a part of keeping the government and, you know, contingencies in place to make sure, you know, something catastrophic happens, the government officials can adequately and quickly respond now. We have to see how many of them are actually getting that. I'm seeing a lot of Democrats. I haven't really seen a lot of Republican figures get it. So time will tell. Um, oh, but what I was saying about the shot is right now, once it becomes available, it really is just gonna be dependent on your state, what they have and what they don't have in terms of shot, whether it's gonna be that you have to get the Pfizer vaccination or the Moderna, whatever they have is kind of what you get. And once you get one or the other, you have to continue, like if you have to get the second dose, you have you can't jump um, between different shots and things like that. So just wanna keep that in mind as more things develop about the vaccinations and things like that. You could always call your local pharmacy before you actually get to that stage and ask them, you know, what, basically which one they have. Um, and if they have, like, if you want the Moderna and they have the Moderna, you can get it. And then if not, you know, it also is an option too. But they're suspecting that it's not going to be available to the general public until... Probably like January, February. Well, no. It's going to be longer than that. They're talking about we may not see... The general public is probably, and that's the other part, people think like, oh, this, they approved the vaccination. It's for, it's approved in most cases for emergency purposes, which means that if you're high risk, you're working in the medical setting, you're working in a nursing home, you're gonna be able to get it. Most people are not gonna be able to get it. So rein in your expectations if you think that you're just gonna be able to get it and life's gonna go back to normal until uh, April, May-ish, that's gonna be the first group, but the bigger bulk of people will probably get both vaccinated if you're gonna get vaccinated within the summer. And then as far as for the efficacy rate, you still have a chance to get it. Um, you're not fully like, and you're, I don't even know if you're really fully inoculated when you uh, completely get the shot. A lot of these vaccinations still have five to 10% uh, effective rate. So there is a slim chance that you could still get COVID even though you've gotten the, the shot. I think it helps, you know, the hospitals and stuff like that in terms of people in the hospitals and stuff like that if you uh, 
you get it, but you know, in terms of trying to get the virus under control, but there definitely are things that you need to consider. And I think the biggest thing for us in our house is the fact that we just don't have a lot of long-term information. We understand that the clinical trials follow the correct procedures and things like that. But I just want to know one, two, three years down the road, are we going to be subjected to, you know, different side effects that we were not initially advised of? I mean, yeah, true. That's the biggest unknown is the long-term side effects. Why are you all in my business? Y'all see he getting salty? Low-key, he getting salty, y'all. Cause he's like, ooh, it did, hers turned out good. No, you take it forever. You know perfection takes time. He a hater, y'all. He's been a hater his whole life. He don't want me to be great. Why do I care? Because you care. Cause if you didn't care, you wouldn't be over here trying to study my stocking and then make changes to yours so you could act like you could compete with the MVP. Talk about me using all the paint. You're using more paint than me. No, I'm not. So I'm gonna let him pan in, grab the camera and pan in. You can tell us who has the better stocking between the two of us. So that's mine. It says Merry Christmas in my name. And then this is Latoya's. It says Latoya with the designs around the name and then a, a deformed snowman. Don't be trying to do Don't be disrespecting my snowman. Y'all, so this is what she looks like. Because I know he ain't gonna try to give y'all the full. Ooh, I almost stuck my finger in. I mean, it does look childish as hell now that I'm looking at it on camera. Yeah. But still. And then this mine's just basic. Merry Christmas and then Chris. Anyways. Yeah. They do look like some children that I ain't no artiste. You were trying to act like you are. Okay, so tell them what the word of the day for the giveaway is going to be. Hashtag stocking. Hashtag stocking in the comments if you want to be entered in the giveaway. And for the giveaway, yeah. check out video number two. We're going to be giving out a gift card. We'll probably actually do it the day after Christmas. Yeah. And tell you guys who won and what video it was. It'll be the video with the most comments right now. The leading video has seven comments. So. so once we get the video done, then from there, uh, we'll tell you guys who won. We'll probably come back to, you guys need to watch the video. So if we say that you're the winner, that you know that you won. And you'll need to contact us. And you'll need to contact us uh, via like Twitter or something like that. Or, or if you don't have Twitter, you can just, I think you can just send us a on YouTube. We'll get it that way too, so. Oh, you can send us I think so. on YouTube? I think so. Or just comment when we get it or whatever. Yeah. Either way. So, without further ado, if you're new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to share with your mama's mamas, and your baby's mamas, and your cousin's cousins, and your baby cousins, and all that stuff. Even friends, and strangers, whatever. Anything the more the better. You, anything that you do helps this channel and gets us out there. So, without further ado, we out. Later.